Hello everyone, uh, welcome back and I hope you're all keeping well. But in this week where, you know, I don't want everybody to watch the news on 24 hour round because I think it could drive you mad. There's a few housekeeping items that everybody will know I'm a fan of uh, giving my clients homework. So whilst we're a bit bored and are a bit anxious, um, and we've t already tidied out our sock drawers and our garages are tidier than they ever were and we've defrosted our freezers and if we see the children again we want to kill them around homeschooling there's three things that I'd ask people to consider if they've got a relevance to them if any one of the partners have asked you historically to do a state pension request and you haven't had chance or you haven't sent it in the, attached to this link is the short guideline on how to do it. It should take you no, no longer than five minutes. That would really help when we are projecting people's futures. So for anybody not yet retired who has not done one, could I encourage that? Secondly, um, powers of attorney, lasting powers of attorney is a discussion I have in the majority of my client meetings and this is around creating a document that gives other people in your life the power to make your decisions should you lose mental capacity. There's a document that exists around finance and there's a document that exists around medical affairs. They cost £82 per document per person to create. But they are um, very easily possible to do yourselves following the government guidelines. Now, these will, however, take, I would suggest, between an hour and an hour and a half to do each. And again, there's a document attached with guidelines. But I would encourage you to do one, sleep on it, and then get another second set of eyes in your house to reread it. Because the most common mistakes are you start the document with a middle name, but you're actually watching television while you do it. So you end the document and you've not got a middle name. Or at the beginning you lived in West Yorkshire and by the end you live in W Yorks. But I'd happily assist anybody who's going through this process as well. Um, but it's good housekeeping. And then thirdly, I'd encourage people who are regularly saving by virtue of a bank account to check the interest rate that they are now receiving. I certainly know that I've been written to by two of the banks that I deal with personally and shown some, you know, quite starch reality of the recent drop in interest rates. So, if there is grandparents out there or parents saving for children in junior ISAs still using cash interest rates and their grandchildren are under 13, so have got five years before these monies are required, I'd strongly encourage you to get in touch and for us to consider transferring them into a more equity-based environment. Now, the vast majority of questions that have come in this week are, are the managers still actively trading? And they absolutely are. So given the surge in the number of people who now have an online wealth account, I'm going to put up on screen where you can see the cash positions of your individual managers so that you can see that number changing over time. So for diversified assets with a significant cash holding, they have 11 deals with companies to buy at solicitors. These are obviously slower in the current environment and some will not proceed because a new and different valuation to just a month ago will be contested. But cert you will certainly see money being deployed from this fund, as just one example. So I hope that's been helpful and I hope you stay safe. And please, as encouraged every time, send us any questions that will help you steady your minds. Thank you. Stay safe.